Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to talk about when you should rig your shrimp through the head versus the tail and vice versa. You know, rigging shrimp in the head or the tail, those are going to be the two main ways to rig a live shrimp. You never want to rig it through the middle of the body because it's going to make for an unnatural presentation, and your shrimp will pretty much just sit on the bottom, you know, flat, or it will helicopter and spin in the current. So when it comes to rigging shrimp, when rigging them through the head, this is going to be more ideal if you're fishing in current and or if you're fishing a live shrimp underneath a float. Now the reason behind rigging them in the head in current is because you want that shrimp to be pulled forward with the current. You are typically going to position yourself up current from wherever you're trying to get that shrimp to if you're going to free line it you're gonna hook that shrimp in the head and then your line is pretty much going to catch the current and then that shrimp is going to be pulled forward with the current. Now, if you hook your shrimp in the tail when fishing in current, what's gonna happen is your shrimp is going to start to spin because that current is now you know, catching the tail and it's gonna make that shrimp spin underwater and it's just not gonna be natural. So that's going to be the main reason when and why you wanna hook your shrimp through the head. Now also, hooking a shrimp through the head, that's going to give it a more natural presentation in current and under a cork because that allows the shrimp to kick its tail freely. And that's its natural you know, way of getting away from a predator is they kick their tail and then they dart backwards. So you want to be able to basically let that happen. So by hooking a shrimp in the head, that's going to allow that shrimp to kick its tail and act natural. Now, as far as rigging the shrimp through the head, there are really two ways to do so. One way is you can rig the shrimp, you know, with the hook going across, basically going across the head, or you can go up underneath and then out through the top. What you wanna make sure of when you're rigging a shrimp through the head is that you avoid the two organs. You're gonna see sort of a dark spot towards the rear or the back of the head, and then you're gonna see sort of a dark spot closer to the eyes. You want to get that hook right in between those two dark spots where it's clear so you don't kill your shrimp. Now when you hook it crossways, you're just going to go through the side of the head in between those two organs and then out through the other side and just like so. Now this is going to keep your shrimp alive much longer than it would if you hook your shrimp underneath through the bottom of the head. So when you hook the shrimp underneath through the bottom, you're just going to go underneath the bottom of the head, again, up through between those two dark spots and just behind the horn. Now when you do this, this is actually going to allow you to cast a little better and also it's going to keep the shrimp more streamlined in the water. And also when you go to retrieve your shrimp, it's going to make it more streamlined so it's not spinning around and helicoptering. Now you can use circle hooks, you could use J hooks, whatever the case may be, the rigging is still going to be the same. Now lastly, when it comes to rigging the shrimp through the head, ideally when you are using a float or a popping cork, this would be the best way to go because again, it's gonna keep the shrimp alive longer when you go through one side and out the other as opposed to underneath and then out through the top. So go with this method if you are fishing it under a float or a popping cork. Now as far as rigging a shrimp through the tail, there's really going to be four situations where this is going to be more ideal. Number one being if you're fishing with no current, you know, maybe you're fishing slack tide or you're just in an area where there's really no tidal flow or no, uh, no current, that's going to be more ideal to hook a shrimp through the tail because that allows the shrimp to swim naturally. So it can swim on its own because it doesn't have the water moving the shrimp. Also, if you're drifting, you're drifting with the current, so the current really isn't taking your shrimp. The shrimp is kind of just drifting with you with the current. Rigging them through the tail can be ideal as well. And then the last two reasons why I would hook a shrimp through the tail is if I'm sight casting to a fish, you know, I see a fish cruising on the shoreline and I want to make a cast to it. Hooking the shrimp through the tail is going to make it more streamlined for casting because the head of the shrimp is heavier. So when you have the head of the shrimp leading that cast, it's going to cast much better than if you have the shrimp hooked through the head. So sight fishing, hook through the tail. Also, if you're trying to increase your casting distance, especially when you're fishing in an area with no current and you need that shrimp to swim on its own, 
hooking it through the tail is going to be more ideal. And as far as hooking it through the tail, it's going to be very similar to how you rig the shrimp through the head. You can either go crossways, you know, out one side of the tail and through the other, or you can go up underneath the tail and then out through the top. Also, you can go through the top of the tail and then out through the bottom. Now another trick or tip when rigging a shrimp through the tail is to actually pinch the tail section off. You know, pinch the very end of the tail, the fan. You could pinch a couple segments up if you want to, but what that does is it helps release a little bit more scent and it actually doesn't kill the shrimp. Uh, you know, over time the shrimp will die, but it doesn't kill the shrimp. The shrimp will still be alive and active. And I prefer to pinch the tail off specifically when I'm sight casting to fish or I'm casting into a school of black drum or redfish, you know, that scent definitely helps draw them in uh, to the bait. And same premise, you know, most often I will hook the shrimp like so. When it doesn't have a tail on it, I'll go up through the soft part of the bait and then out through the shell. You can do that. Or another thing that I like to do, especially if I'm trying to get a nice long cast, is to actually use a jig head instead. That adds weight, adds casting distance, and helps get that bait down to the bottom more quickly, especially for those fish that are feeding off the bottom, such as redfish and black drum. So what I'll do is I will put that jig head through the bait. Now, when you do use a jig head, you don't really have to go through the top. What I actually prefer to do is go through the bottom as far as the hook point goes, when the hook point comes out, I like to go through the bottom because this allows me to thread that hook through the shrimp easier. So I can get that shank of the hook pretty much all the way into that shrimp like so. And there you have jig head pretty much rigged up nice and close to the body hidden. And you can cast this out to a cruising fish or tailing redfish, black drum and hook up to those fish. So hopefully these tips can help you out when it comes to rigging up shrimp as to when you should rig them up through the tail versus the head. Again, presentation is going to be key depending on how you're fishing the shrimp, if there's current, if you're sight fishing to uh, fish or anything like that, that's going to help you determine which way to rig them up. And presentation is key. You know, if you cast out a shrimp and it just doesn't look natural or it's spinning around, it's getting your line tangled up, you're going to reduce your chances of catching fish. Now, I know I didn't use a live shrimp as a demonstration here. This is actually an artificial shrimp. This is made by uh, Chase Baits USA. We actually do sell these on our shop page at fishstrong.com. You can check them out there. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind you do get up to 20% off all tackle and gear on the shop page. So be sure to take advantage of that. And then lastly, if you're having trouble catching fish consistently, you know, you're always going out and getting skunked, I highly recommend checking out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee you'll start catching more fish in less time. So definitely be sure to check that out. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips that you would like to share when it comes to rigging up shrimp in the head versus the tail, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.